What's up YouTube? Back with another video. Today I am actually back on a mountain bike trail. Uh, I know it's been a while since I did my review on my new Roscoe bike and I have not even been able to ride this bike as of yet. So today is my first day. I'm just going to do a quick run with it. I'm actually at Mount Dora, Florida at their mountain bike trail. Um, very popular spot. I've actually done a video of Mount Dora before and this is not the normal bike trail I usually take for an initial review and my initial test run on a new bike. I usually go to a couple of other spots, but I wanted a little, I wanted something a little bit more technical. And, um, and so I decided to come to Mount Dora today. And so I'm excited about it here in Florida. The weather's getting a little bit cooler. We're now like in the mid to high eighties. Um, the rain has kind of slowed down a little bit. So fall is here and this is the best time in Florida to actually mountain bike ride and so i'm going to take advantage of that this fall because i have not i thought about it on the way here i've not ridden my mountain bike on a mountain bike trail in probably over a year and so i feel like i'm i feel like i'm brand new to the sport again and so um so yeah it's a little little odd today but i'm gonna see how it goes and get back into the swing of things and so um i'm not doing this video to actually review the, the course uh, I've done that before in a previous video you can check out but uh, I'm actually just testing my bike out on an actual trail and getting back into the to the feel of things and um, I'll do a quick review of the bike after I finish started it was only like 73 degrees and it's now 82 degrees but with the humidity it feels like 90 so it got extremely hot and the breeze stopped blowing so uh, my nice easy what I thought was gonna be a nice day ended up being almost a regular summer day um, but actually it was fun it was good to get back on the trail it's funny because, uh, sorry I had to cut the AC on, so hopefully it's not too loud, but I'll cut it down some while I'm recording this. But um, let's see, uh, when I first got on it, I was actually a little a little nervous doing the, the technical stuff, the, the ramps and the jumps and the dips and all of that stuff, the drops. I, uh, a little nervous because I hadn't done it in so long so on the first I did I did the loop twice the first loop I kind of avoided a lot and then I did some things and then I was just kind of going slow didn't have my my mojo and then I was like nah I can't I can't act like this so I redid the whole course this time went gung-ho non-stop was basically like whatever happens happens and had a blast 
and did all the obstacles like I would normally do if I hadn't missed a beat. And so uh, felt good to, to get back in the swing of things. But definitely take some readjusting. I am out of shape. Wow. Uh, I didn't realize how out of shape I was until you actually go mountain biking on a hill on, on all those hills that Mount Dora has it's very hilly and uh, it's no joke I didn't stop the first round the first loop second loop I had to take a couple of breaks but um let me say this man we got to have a new mountain bike etiquette and really this is tight this is an etiquette that should be in the gym or any type of workout scenario running mountain biking cycling skiing whatever when I go mountain biking and I know I'm going to be in the sun and the humidity and the heat for at least a couple of hours, I put on extra deodorant. I put on cologne. You know, not saying that it, it takes a lot for me to sweat. But in Florida, anybody will sweat with no problem. But the thing is, is everybody gets off different types of body odors. But when your body gives off an odor outdoors, on a mountain bike trail and it lingers you you have a different type of body odor you, you have something that you might need to go get checked out and there's no way in the world I don't care what people say there's no way in the world you can't smell that there was a guy on that trail just now that literally I was behind and I could smell his funk for like, I mean, I literally had to just pull over and just wait for it, for it to just just go away for a while. It was it was bad, man, and it lingered. It just his 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 body odor trail stayed on the trail. His body odor trail was mountain biking. It was it was on the trail by itself doing its own thing. It was awful, and he passed me like three times. The third time, I just I just got off the bike and just stopped and just started walking. I just it literally had me sick towards the end. This guy smells so bad. Listen, man, you, you, you got to make sure, you know, if, if your body odor is that strong, you, you need to go do something about it, man. There's no way in the world you can't smell that. There's no way in the world. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Had fun today. The bike rode great. Um, dialed in perfectly. The tires, very, very impressed with the tires. I normally ride Max's tires, um, but the, the Rons did, did very, very well. I'm actually very shocked because that trail has a lot of soft sand spots. It's very fast, it's very quick. And uh, there's a lot of, there's there's some slipping and sliding, which I always do on the Mount Dora Trail. Like you always gonna have some slips and slides here and there. Did not fall one time, and there were about two or three times I knew I was getting ready to go down and the bike stabilized. And it was fun, but it was, th those tires did a lot better than I thought they would do. The bike is perfect. I, I have no complaints at all. The brakes were, were top notch stopped on the drop of a dime um didn't even feel that heavy on the trail to be honest really didn't feel that heavy uh just very impressed with the with the ride and, and, and the first ride and the and the bike itself uh i was going to say it reminds me of the colorado but actually it's to me it's a lot faster and a little bit lighter than the colorado i was very very shocked that how how uh light and and and, and how up in speed it can get uh, can maneuver corners a lot better than the Colorado, but uh, still has the basis and feel of, of the Nashiki bike, but but still just on a, on a top-notch scale. I um, already got a lot of sand, because that trail is really sandy in some spots. It's a lot of sand and dirt and everything, so I'm going to have to go home and, and wash it and clean it up, uh, even after the first ride, which normally I don't, don't wash my bikes after every single ride, but this time I'm going to have to. But beautiful day, great day to ride. I'm glad I'm back into it. Uh, I see I got a lot of work to do with the with the Stanima and, and getting my cardio back up with riding bikes. But um, overall, it's a really good good uh, good day. So anyway, hope you guys are doing well. I check you out on the next ride, and uh, you guys take care. Have a good week. Peace.